Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today I have a fun and creative nail art design to show you today. I'll be using She Modern, uh, she Modern Foil Art, and which is um, like, if you don't know about it, it's, it's like those um, foil papers, just like that. So I'm going to show you two new ways of using them. Um, easy, quick and easy, no coloring required, so I hope you like this one. Uh, I'll show you what the picture looks like, the mani, and then I'll show you how I created it. So let's get started. I'll be using Wave Gel's Base Gel and Shiny No Clean Top Gel. First, I'm going to apply the Base Gel to all of my fingers. And gel polishes are applied in thin, even coats. And this, this actually, this base gel is really awesome. I haven't had any nail staining and it, it covers like any imperfections in the nails. It, it makes for a great smooth surface. So I really, really like this base coat. I'll be using clear water on my fingers today. Now I'm going to apply the second coat. Now I'm going to use green witch time and I'm going to try some dry brushing. Okay, big deep breath because I don't ever think that I have dry brushed before and I haven't even practiced this design. So at this point, it's all in my head and it looks really good. How it's going to actually turn out on my fingernails, I don't know. So let's try. Um, let's see, I got to get the brush nice and dry. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. I'm liking it. Okay. If you get too much, it's gel. So I can just take one of these brushes and swipe it a little bit. Uh, you know, it's just like another good reason <laughs> to use gel when you're doing nail art. These mistakes are fixable until you cure it. So just use this brush. Oh, hang on a second. I just have this mixing canvas handy, so I'm just going to pop some of this gel polish on there. I think it just might be a little bit more controllable if I do it with this brush instead of the brush that's inside the bottle. It's been sitting there inside the bottle forever. I kind of like that. Well, let's do another nail. I'm not doing the middle two nails. <laughs> so it's just... Oh yeah, that looks good. Oh yeah, kind of like that. Huh. Okay, it looks, it looks okay. So I'm just going to go with this and we're going to cure it. Now I'm going to use Jelly's Fairy Dust. And this is just an awesome, really light glitter fairy hollow topper. And I'm going to put this on all of my nails. And then I'm going to give everything a top coat to smooth it out. Okay, I decided I wanted some like a lot darker green. So what I did is I put some of the, the green and black. And I'm just trying to make the green a little bit darker. And 
and I've got a thin brush. I think I'm just going to try like some kind of thin lines. This is looking great. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, maybe that's it. Drag the brush. Oh yeah, I like that. That's looking good. Okay, I kind of like that. All right. So, let's see. Okay. Yeah, next time I think I'm going to be stamping, <laughs> stamping my dry brush lines. Okay, but that looks not horrible. Okay, so I'm going to cure that and then I'll put my top coat on. Okay, and what the top coat's going to do is just going to smooth out the design or the glitter or both so that I can put the foil art on top of it so it has a nice smooth surface surface so the foil art isn't lumpy okay so I'm gonna do that finish it and come back okay we're all set to go now we're gonna use two different ways of applying the um, the foil art so in the one way we're going to um, use the foil glue. So before I do that, I have to prep the nail. So what I do is I just have to buff it a little lightly. Yeah, just put a no clean shine, no shine top coat on, or shiny no clean top coat, and I gotta buff the shine off. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, we'll put it right back on after we get the foil art. So we're just going to buff it, and you wanna make sure you get all the edges pretty good. Otherwise, the glue kind of lifts up, and it could potentially not be a good thing. So, there we go. So, that is good. So, then the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to put the foil glue on. So, we're just going to put a nice thin layer of foil glue. And... When we're done with our foil art, it'll be on all nice and dry. So it kind of goes on white and then um, it dries to clear and it's already. Okay, so that's good enough for now. I'm going to use some of these that I got as samples. Um, there's, she's coming out with a like huge selection of um, new foil arts so that's pretty exciting and these are really fun I, I already cut them in half to use I don't know why I did that but okay <laughs> um, anyways what we can do is we can just flip them over onto here there's gonna be two ways that we can apply these and oh Jeez, let's take the cap off, Patty. I already turned this upside down because this is my designated, <laughs> my designated foil art stamper. So I am just going to lay these on here like that. And they just stick very nice on there. And then um, the first way we're going to do is we're going to take the shiny no clean top coat. And we are going to make sure that the brush hardly has any product on at all. 
I'm just going to get it off because we just need a very little bit to do this. So I am going to just spread it right over the just spread it very thinly right over the design. The whole thing. That's good. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one next to it. And then there's going to be a way that I'm going to show you how to um, apply them where you don't have to um, use this in case you don't have the gel set up. But if you'd like the gel set up, you could just get like an inexpensive gel light, you know, if you like doing this and, um, you know, some top coat and that's all you would need. But I'm going to show you two different ways today because Tina showed me two different ways. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this into my light. I happen to know that Wave Gel, um, this Wave Gel top coat only takes 30 seconds to cure in the light that I have. So I have the 36 watt light and it's gonna just cure for 30 seconds. I have tried to cure it for longer and it was over cure and then I couldn't get it off. So, all right, I'm gonna just pop this in the light. While that's in the light, I'm gonna need my mixing canvas. So I'm going to clean my mixing canvas off right here. And I just put a little alcohol on this little pad and cleaned it right up. I just didn't have any tin foil within reach and it was kind of like a last minute idea to pour the nail polish onto the mixing canvas. So that's why that's why my mixing canvas was all dirty. Okay, so now let's see my little things are are good. So now I'm just going to take them off of there because I can never get them lifted off this little plastic while they're sitting on on that. So I'm just gonna push this down like that out of my way and I'm going to get my sharp tweezers okay so I got my sharp tweezers and basically what you do is you just kind of scratch at the edge of the gel polish and it will just remove it will just come right off Awesome. Then you can just put it back right there. And then we'll do the next one. And these are so nice and thin that they're just going to be really nice to apply to my nails. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do is this one has not been, there's no gel polish over the top of this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors. Okay, and I'm just going to, actually I'm just going to cut it. Cut it right off. And put it on my stamper head, just like that. All right, and now um, what we're going to do is, let's see, hold on a second. Okay, I'm going to get my little stencil stopper thing here. All right, so now I'm ready to figure out where I want my butterfly on this one that's got the glue and I'm just going to press down and roll the stamper over it okay push down with my finger a little bit I want to make sure it's really down there good so I'm going to take the stencil stamp the stencil guide and just push push it down push 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 make sure it's all down there really really tight in the glue and then we're going to 
just lift this away. It didn't stick. Okay, hold on. There we go. Look at that. Nope, oh, that part. There we go. Oh, that is so beautiful. Okay. Now, if you don't have the whole gel set up, <laughs> um, you're going to need to cover this with something. So, Tina found out that if you use Unt, which is actually my peel-off base coat, um, it's just really cool, you can just put that on there. Now, I believe, it hasn't been tested, I haven't seen it tested, but I believe if you um, use nail foils and you have a water-based top coat, you can probably use it. Whatever you use for nail foil art, you can use on top of this because this is exactly what it is. It's just like those nail foil sheets. So Tina did test it with um, with Unt and it works. So that's what I'm going to go with. So you want to put the Unt down first. Um, you're going to float it lightly over the image. Okay. And then when that is dry, you can put your regular top coat on if you were using regular nail polish, which I didn't use regular nail polish, but that's okay. We'll just pretend that nail is regular nail polish. <laughs> uh, okay, now for the other one that is all gel nail polish and still has the gel top coat on and has no, um, no glue, we're just gonna take these little guys and we're just going to stick them on here. And push them down. Oh, look at that. Those are so, I mean, how easy is this? This is so easy. You don't even have to color it in if you don't want to. But I think this one I might have hanging off the edge a little bit. So I think I'm going to put it like right here. And then what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to trim it um, a little bit. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim it here, trim it down here. Oh, that was good. And I'm going to trim this little part right here. Let's see. I'm going to trim it just a little bit more. You want to make sure that there's enough room all the way around it to get your top coat on. Because if you don't get your top coat around the entire image, it is going to lift up. So, ugh, there we go. Perfect. Well, I kind of like that. So... Now I'm going to put the shiny no clean top coat over this because everything is down there really good. Um, if you want, you could take if you want you could take this and put it right over that just to make sure that everything is smoothed down. But everything is nice and flat and thin. Wow, look at that. Okay. <laughs> I'm just so amazed with these little things. I completely, I love these 100% more than anything. I love them more than stickers. Um, this is just so cool. I've got nail, I've got nail foil sheets. I've never even used them, but these are just so fun. No, this is it's just as fun as stamping, which you guys know how much I love my stamping, obviously. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just going to put my top coat over it. Everything is good because that, oh, the back of it's been sealed with top coat, whatever. Um, the foil doesn't react to gel. So now I'm just going to stick it in the light and we'll be ready. Okay, so now this nail is done. This one is not. We're still waiting for that to dry. Um, 
Yeah, actually, I could have done this whole nail in regular nail polish because I have all those colors in regular lacquer as well, but it would have taken me probably like an hour. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to um, come back when this um, when this unt is dry and then we'll put a regular fast dry top coat on that and we will be good to go. Okay, so now the unt is dry and I can go in with my um, shiny, well actually it's my fast dry sash, yes, the sh sash veet nail polish. <laughs> All right, so when that is dry, we will come right back. While we're waiting for that to dry, this is cleanup time, so we could put that away. Save that for another time, because these are reusable for like ever, they last forever. And then this, I don't know why my little paper is cut in half too, but oh well. Let's put that back in there. And if you've seen my videos, you know I like to store them in a little pocket like this. And I was just thinking I could always store them this way. Okay, I can get like two or three across pages because you could see you could definitely see two but you could get a third one that kind of overlaps and peeks out I like that idea it's behind here oh that's nothing that's just a blank one there and these here I've got three hearts just put them right in here like this. I don't know why I didn't think about this sooner. Black hearts. And I've got some more. Um, I have some more colored ones, already colored ones that we don't have to color in. So I've got some more uh, videos planned for with those. So there we go. You get quite a few inside one of these little albums. So here's the finished look. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.